Technology to the body. Yup. Yup. Yeah. Peace reflection. Peace reflection. We finna be talking about the technologies of the body. Warrior Pice. Warrior, Warrior Pure. Pure. Right there. Okay. But yeah, we finna go right in, right? We finna go from head to toe. You ready? Mm. Alright, so one, your hair. Yep. You should not be cutting your hair. You should leave it alone. You should let it grow naturally. You should free form your hair and let the energy flow out of your hair because your hair is ex is literally energy coming out of your body ex externally and it comes in the form of hair and you shouldn't cut it because once you cut your hair, you disconnect yourself from what you are, which is nature. You are nature. And when you cut your hair off, it's disconnecting you from that. And when you try to manifest something, your hair grows, it's energy coming out of your head. So when you cut it off, it's like hindering your manifestation abilities. Like when you cut it off, you should not cut off your hair. The first thing you do to a slave is cut off its hair. Hmm. Yeah, the, way, the way I was thinking about it was uh, that you're, you're a spirit, you know, you're, you're a living, breathing soul, you're walking. So it's like your, your aura that you, that you permeate through, uh, through your spirit, through your soul, your body is uh, permeating a spirit. And the, la the the outer layer, like we looked on Google, and there was like an outer layer of uh, of the different um, the different auras that you have around you. And if you look at it on a physical plane, you know, even though we're spiritual beings, the the last and outer layer is your hair. You feel me? That's that's what's connecting you to what is external of your 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 senses. You feel me? That that's that's giving you more of an insight. You know, say you were in the jungle and you were walking around, and you know you could sense any danger. The more, the stronger your connection is, the longer right that your that your technology is. You right. Feel me? And the reason, right? The reason you can feel it is because it's connected to your nervous system. Your hair has a hair root plexus. Yeah. It has a hair root plexus at the bottom of the cuticle. And it connects to the nervous system of the whole body, your hair. Yes, all hairs on your body has a hair root plexus. And it connects to the rest of your nervous system. So when your hair is really long, if you never cut it from when you were a baby, it will be super long. And when it's really long, you'll be able to sense danger yes like warrior period was saying you'll be able to sense danger you'll have a sixth sense in a sense <laughs> if that makes sense so you'll be able to feel a lot of things just from your hair alone because it's your aura it's a part of your aura mm -hmm. right yeah it, it gives you a deeper insight but i mean uh, uh scientifically uh deeper than that your hair is melanin which is, which is, you know, each part of your body has melanin in it. Sometimes there's, there's more melanin in different spots. You feel me? Like, like your nipple. We're gonna talk about the next. We're gonna talk about that. We're gonna, we're gonna talk about the, all the different parts of the body. But your hair has a certain amount of melanin because it's absorbing the visual light spectrum. Facts. You feel me? So different, different, uh, different parts. Um, so, so your hair is your hair is getting all of the uh, all of the all of the parts of the visual light spectrum. So it's getting green, red, blue, right. say, say exactly like things that we see externally. It's getting everything except black. Right. That's why so, it comes off as black. Yeah. So the melanin is then absorbing everything. Right. Absorbing everything. So after that, that is that that's called a, a, a semiconductor. It's basically conducting uh, everything, ex everything that goes into your into your body internally is is being pulled, basically by your by your. Uh, that's 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 magnetism because everything is magnetism. It's being pulled in through because what what your hair does is it basically uh, it has. It's it's like a plant. It's it's not a stomata, but it it swells up. Like when your hair comes in contact with water, it swells up and it opens up pores. Just like you, just like your skin opens up pores, your your hair opens up pores and it collects it collects information. Yeah. Through the, from the ether and it sends it in and that's why it's connected to your nervous system because when your brain uh, when your brain processes the information, it's able to send. It's able to to collect the light codes and send them all throughout your all throughout your being to let you know what's going on with the universe. Yeah. But that, that's pretty much Exactly. Your hair, your hair is not your hair is not dead. You can't have dead hair. If 
your hair and you're in an environment and you reach a certain temperature, it literally, your pores open up, open and close up. Same thing with water, heat, anything. It reaches a certain temperature, it opens up and it's able to receive light. And it's congruent to a stomata of a leaf. Leaf, has, they have photosynthesis, it's called human photosynthesis. We intake light in our, uh, through our hair, through our skin, which is our clothes. All of that stuff, when it reaches a certain temperature, it opens up just like a stomata on a leaf. Like a stomata on a leaf will open up so light can come in. Yo, and, and, and imagine, how I'm thinking about it is like, imagine, because uh, uh, it being kinky and coiled up, mm -hmm. imagine like a, a, like a wire. And then yeah. imagine the friction. Like ima imagine like there's, there's electricity going through the wire mm -hmm. and then they're rubbing against each other. It's like right. friction. So the more that the more that it starts to just rub up against each other, it just creates a more powerful, powerful. It, it's it, man, it's a strong right. connection. Exactly. This is this gives you a stronger connection. There's six, seven, eight, and nine ether. Right. This is nine. My hair, how it locks up like this naturally. This is nine ether. Mhm. Mm this is nine ether. Exactly. You feel me? Right. If you if you have if you have straighter hair, then you can you can build it up to be like this, but some people some people manipulate it to actually just be straight. Right, and that's not what you want. The more coily your hair is, the better light and energy can travel through it. If you know the anything about the Nick the Tesla coil, Nikolai Tesla, he has copper wrapped around a wire, a pole in a wire, spiraled. That's because energy flows very smoothly through coils and when you straighten your hair you perm all that is you can't receive information and one another thing you got to get to the tropics to get the right information that's another thing you got to get to the tropics in between the tropics of cancer and the tropics of capricorn to get the right information because your uvb is better than uva in the northern hemisphere all you get is uva in the tropics you get uvb and you're not supposed to cut your hair and none of that, and you're supposed right. to take off your clothes, all that. Okay, so so let's go. Uh, let's go in no. on skin. Oh, skin. All right, that, yeah, skin. Because you start. To, I hear you talking about uh, a UVB. Right. So UVB is the, that's the source that there's you know ultraviolet light. Right. You feel me? So that's the that's that's what the sun permeates. That's what right. the, that's what our soul is. Uh, our our source is permeating. So you going on that? All right. So basically, right. When you're in the tropics and you and UVB touches your skin, right? It goes in your body. It touches. It touches the sebum of the skin, and the sebum is like cholesterol. What is it called? Cholesterol. Yeah, cholesterol, right? And then it gets turned. It gets turned into. It goes to the. Uh, what is it called? It goes to the thyroid. Yeah, the thyroid. It gets. It goes to the thyroid, and then it gets turned. It gets. Uh, what's dang? It goes to the thyroid, and then it gets. Converts it into a with house the, of trial. Right, by the liver and the kidney. After that's after. So right. So what it would do is it would uh it turns it, it takes the uh takes the, the UVB hits the skin. Right. Skin uh has cholesterol exactly which, or, or sebum or we would call it. Right. And then it travels up to the thyroid. Mm -hmm. The thyroid uh converts it into calcitriol right which is a uh, vitamin d3 then when the vitamin d3 is filtered through the liver and the kidneys it creates an active form of vitamin d right or, or hormone d because it's not really a vitamin right it's, a, it's hormone. a hormone you feel me it's a growth it's a growth hormone that's why your bones are growing why would, right why would you call something a vitamin why, why would you call it a vitamin do you do you know the definition of a vitamin you feel me? Because we could look up, we could look up the definition of a vitamin. I bet it's not the same thing as a hormone. Right. While he does that, he articulated that way better than I could. But once it gets turned into that uh, hormone, it then goes to the bone marrow, and then the bone marrow, right, makes new blood in your body. Okay. Wait. Bone so, marrow. So, so basically, when you're talking about a vitamin, you're talking about something that is is a molecule. And it's a it's essential for micronutrients and function. You feel me? That's not that's not the same thing as growth. Function and growth have two. They're two different. They're two different uh, uh, apparatuses. There, there's. So what we're talking about is basically growth. So when right. we're talking about vitamin D or hormone D, you know, Babylon likes to call it vitamin, vitamin D. D, but it's a hormone. Right. So basically, that that hormone is what 
is making your bones grow. Right. You feel me? And that it's it's from the sun. I mean, you you just you just have to you have to just understand it. Like right. So if you if you just take a step back, right? The UVB in the tropics hits your skin, goes through the process of turning it into hormone D, which creates new bone marrow, which creates new blood, and red blood cells give you oxygen. So you're the sun. The sun builds you. You are the sun. Mm -hmm. That's why you got to get to the to the tropics. You got to get in between the tropics of Capricorn and Cancer exactly. because you got to know the technologies of your own body. You're not getting the proper nutrients, not the proper sunlight in Babylon. You're not. And when you think about it, uh, those are the three Bs. We like to call them the three Bs here at Carbon Nation. And um, so basically, it's the uh, the breath. You know, you have your breath. You have your blood and you have your bone. You feel me? And that's basically the Holy Trinity. What they will call the Holy Trinity, which right. is basically it will be solid, liquid, and gas. So you, so we're talking about we're talking about everything being in, in different forms of itself. Hey, let's but, move this way, the lighting better. Okay. But continue. Like it was getting dark. Y'all seen that? But uh, go ahead. <laughs> but um, it's still it's still on the level of which we can understand things scientifically. You know, if you're if you're, come on, yo, like it is it's it's obvious. Simple. It's right there in your face. Like simple. The source is hitting you. It's converting your body into different into different types of itself. Right. You wouldn't be here. Think about it. You wouldn't be here without the sun. You wouldn't be here without it. You touched on three Bs, didn't you? Touched on right. three Bs, man. Like, it's facts, dude. Exactly. Like, and, and the way that we break it down here, I'm grateful for, for uh, my commander-in-chief. You feel me? Master Chief Nature Boy, he enlightened us to this. You know, we, 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 had, we, had, uh, we had inklings, you know, coming out of Babylon. But it's like, once we, once we actually are, 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 what I would say, we, once we're hip to it, it's like there's no going back for us. We we understand it in a way that we could break it down simply to, to the common person. Like we get we get we can explain it simply so that you'll be able to understand. And and you know that's what that's what we do here, yo. We 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 teach. You feel me? We we we've been studying this knowledge so much that we understand that it's simple. Right. It's so it's simple biology. Exactly. So that that's the skin. And to get better to get even more deep with that because you got to take steps towards getting in tune with nature right and it's going to help the technology of the body you, you if you don't understand the technology of the body you don't understand yourself you got to know thyself right so start taking your clothes off in in nature like we don't see us wearing shirts at all because of what we just explained and another thing is we will touch on the nipple right the nipple is a chakra point it's a solar panel, literally. If you know anything about solar panels, it absorbs sunlight mm -hmm. and it converts it into electricity and it, it converts it into another form of energy, right? So your your nipples are like solar panels. They act as solar panels. It's another point. It's a, a really good point that absorbs sunlight on your body. It's the nipple. And you, when you cover up the nipple, it's cutting, it's blocking that, that source from coming into your body, UVB. And women, right, we sexualize nipples so much that women don't feel comfortable having their nipples out. And But it's okay for a man to have his nipples out. You see the hypocritical thinking right there? And it's all a, pro, it's all a program. But yeah, you gotta take your clothes off. You gotta stop cutting your hair. And that's just the skin in your hair. There's so much more. There's so much more. Yeah, man, they've been they've been abusing uh, all of us. You know, there's different there's different parts of your body. Like, they're they're basically chakra points. You feel me? Like, there's there's your nipples. You know, you have that's hair still. What I'm saying, like eyelashes. Me, and you can see different different parts of your body where you're you're more melanated. You have different parts of melanin. Like right here, I got this little this little spot. It's tiny as fuck, but I got that spot. Or 
like it'll be like spots on my face that are, that are very very darkly pigmented and those are basically just uh different different uh vortexes of energy that are stronger they're more conducive for your body they're they're absorbing the sun letting it in you feel me and it and it's and it's it's uh it's sending the codes just like your hair does your pores open up on your skin and they absorb light which is energy and they send it out through your body you feel me to let you know where you are what what, what part of the universe you're you're uh you're connecting with you feel me so uh, we talk about the nipple that's that's basically it's the heart chakra you feel me they're they're right next to the heart chakra you feel me and you know so so different like like especially like your nodes like these are like your hands are less pigmented so right. this is a good way to to absorb energy if you just like face them towards the sun you could like absorb a bunch of energy there's less melanin in there so it's absorbing different parts of the visual like spectrum right you feel me Shit. stop stop real quick you feel me stop take a second look at your nipple you feel me right rub them they they motherfucking they they they're, they're chakra points exactly it the more energy that they get it's only going to be more conducive to your body right so um yeah so they basically they're basically uh uh connected to your pores and it's all throughout it's all throughout your atoms we actually have a, a, a video on melanin and what it is, is, is it's a semiconductor. So it's going to be giving you, it's, it's giving you energy. And the more melanin that you have, the more conducive you'll be to your, to, uh, in your environment, right. to yourself. You feel me? I play this video? Yeah, I don't know if they're going to be able to hear it. But the lighting is, I don't know, I don't know if the lighting's good or not, but like it seems you dark wanna, on my you side. You want to take it off and point it? Just point it out there. Yeah, I gotta be careful though. I gotta be careful. I don't know if they have me. Yes, our line. Okay. What is basically what is melanin? You, well, we, melanin is very interesting. Now let's just look at this from a very basic level. Mm -hmm. Okay, it is a pigment. It ranges in color from pale yellow to reddish brown to blue black. It is in, as far as the body goes, every major organ of the body, and it has many, many different functions. Now, from a technological perspective, what melanin is, it is biological living light. Living light. That's correct. Okay, so that means then that we have now a light source interacting and reacting upon itself. How did you come to the conclusion that that was living light, biological living light? Well, when light? you look at the properties of what it does, it is black melanin. Melanin that is blue-black actually contains and is able to energize itself and to hold on to the entire frequency of the electromagnetic spectrum. The electromagnetic spectrum is nothing more than light. It consists, however, of the visual spectrum, which makes the rainbow of colors. It consists of cosmic waves, radio waves, laser, short wave radio, long wave radio, TV, ultrasound. All of these are part of the light spectrum. Melanin, pure black melanin, interacts with all of that by absorbing it and holding it into itself. So if melanin is put on the surface of something, all of those frequencies of light can be absorbed. And guess what? The heat is dissipated from them without destroying whatever lays underneath it. NASA, for example, uses a synthetic form of melanin to coat the entire undersurface. All right, we're going to stop it right there, yo. Yeah, they even what? have synthetic melanin. What? Bruh. Man. Bruh. Melanin, melanin is indestructible. You can't, like, everything that it absorbs uh -huh. is is protected by it. You feel me? Everything. No more still memes. No more still memes. No more still memes. Yeah. <laughs> Automatic. Facts. All memes move. Facts. Man, everything. Oh, that. Oh, that means everything is living. 
Right. Everything is alive. Everything is moving. Everything is melanin. There's melanin in everything. Yes, I will send you the link if you're ready. We'll send you it after. It's cutting a little bit, but not much. I hear everything. Okay, facts. Yeah, yeah. My the the signal out here. We're in the tropics, so the signal can get a little choppy. Right. Um, but yeah, it's like everything. Everything is is melanin. Right. So if it's if it's if it's in it, like if 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 it's in like whatever melanin absorbs, it protects. You feel me? So. You're basically you. You're indestructible. You are indestructible. You're a living, breathing soul. You're you're the sun, and you know that living in this in this body, you can't. There's nothing that can really tamper with your apparatus, because this is a technological. This is a technological apparatus, and you can't. That's why when people talk about death, it's like death yo, is illusion. Yo, if you have melanin, okay, because you can't separate yourself. One thing is you can't separate yourself from your body. Your mind, the first hermetic principle, everything is mental. So your mind is your body. Your 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 body, the this this what you see externally, your body is inside of your mind. Right. The and, holographic universe. Yeah, and, and your mind is basically just just uh shooting you into this consciousness Facts. and is giving you a body. So right. when you think about you having a body you have to think about uh, um, it's it's almost like a dream, you know. You right. Could, you could be in a dream and you never really die in that dream. Right. Hold on. Let let break it down real quick. All right. So the sun, right, which we, where we come from, right, is what energy. The sun is energy, and like we explained before, right, when it hits your skin, it makes it goes through the process of making new bone marrow, right. And then that bone marrow makes blood, and then that blood makes oxygen. Well, you feel me? So, if all that stems from the sun, and the sun is energy, and without the sun you wouldn't be here, and you are the sun, you're energy. And everyone knows energy can't be created nor destroyed, only transferred or transformed. So how can one die? Hmm. If you're energy, you can't. It's impossible. You are. You're just gonna transition. There, there's death and illusion. Right. Well, the way that I think about it is, if we can't really be created or destroyed, that means we're just always here. We're nothing, giving ourselves the illusion of being something. Right. So death is merely when you when you log out, you instantly log back in, whether you're conscious of it or unconscious. The mind moves. If you know what a mirror neuron is, then you know quantum physics. It's basically a, a possibility. Right. You feel me? So you're always there. You're always in the reality. It's just if you're paying attention or not. Like when you're driving, like say say you're say you're say you're driving. Uh, tell them we're doing a video. We're doing a video outside. Oh, we're live. We're live. Um, so basically say that, say that, say that you're, uh, 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 yeah, let's just say you're driving, you know, and you're, you're conscious of that you're driving and then you, uh, somebody's next to you and they just start talking and then you're having a conversation with them. Your mind instantly clicks and it switches to the conversation you could be looking over at them you could be co talking to them conscious uh of of what they're saying and looking over and not even paying attention to the road you feel me once you take your once you take your eyes off of that road as soon as your peripheral is out of is out of the vision then it's going to uh it's basically going to dissolve and and it's basically uh uh the atoms go in and out there there's just a possibility you feel me anything that you, when you turn back it comes it, it comes back into a solid right uh, uh, you start form. projecting it like if you close your eyes right that's basically like you'll you'll change the projection from your perception you know mm -hmm. what i'm saying so like when you close your eyes that you're in complete darkness that's where we come from mm -hmm. when you open your eyes you start projecting reality your eyes aren't eyes they're projectors mm -hmm. your only your true eye is your heart the heart controls the brain and the brain processes what is being projected from your mind so you're inside your mind yeah and that 
You know what I'm saying? These are right. projectors. Like, everything is basically a projection when you think about it. Right. Like, these are projectors. Your brain is a projector. But it's, at the same time, it's like the, the what is it, the CD? Because right. it's, it's the your hardware. The hardware, yeah, because it's your astrological programming, which is the, the thought patterns. Right. Then your heart is pretty much also a projector, but it's the, um, it's the, uh, well, yeah, it's hardware, it's, it's hardware as well, but, it, like, they're all basically projectors, but then you have, and it's tough to put, The brain is like the salt, the heart is like, the, the heart is like the hardware, the brain is like, the software. The software and Thought processes program. it. And then the eyes are the projector. Ah, okay. right. And then you project reality. Everything is in your mind. If you look around, yeah. it's what you, like I said, you manifest things, right? And it's what you're thinking about most, what, what's around you. And, and it's tough for me to say, uh, 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 put a number on it because what it is, it's, it's, inf it's, there's infinity. You feel me? If you, if you know, like this, this reality is infinite, it's, it's endless. So for me to put a number on it, like, oh yeah, this is my first, this is my second one, this is my third one. You can't really put a number on it because the, everything is projecting you into this reality through your mind, through your thought patterns. You feel me? So, yo, is there a way to lift this up? I still don't like the lighting. Is there a way to lift it up? You don't like the lighting? Yeah, um, if I get it up and then you, down. You, could face, you should have put it all the way up and then faced it down at us. Right, that's what I'm, how to do that right now. Let's do it right now. All right, hold it. I got y'all. My bad, but yeah, your eyes are projectors, right? We're gonna edit this part when, if we get a chance. Definitely edit this part. Nah, keep it organic. Keep it organic? Yeah, keep it organic. You know what I'm saying? I can we grow. He said we grow. We evolved. Let's see what's up there. Hey, see, that's what I'm talking about right there. You feel me? Oh, that's what I'm talking about right there. Yeah, see? It's a little better. It's a lot better. What do you mean? You see that? I don't know. Right, you can they see. know. Well, yeah, it's, it depends on if you like I, to see yourself or not. Yo, my with my shit being 11th house, a lot of my uh, houses being 11th house, I can just zoom out and look at other people's perspective. And that lighting was terrible. Mm. All right. Okay. That's dope. So yeah, like we done talked about the hair, stop cutting your hair, your skin, how you got to get to the tropics so you can get the right light codes and information. We done talked about your heart, your mind, being all, it's all the projection in your mind, your eyes being projectors. Let's talk about your motherfucking feet, all right? <laughs> all right, so in Babylon, fashion is huge and it's, it's, it's a program to get to uh, stop you from connecting to nature like fashion like they want you to buy clothes and stuff like that like we said before you shouldn't even be wearing clothes nothing like that you shouldn't be wearing shoes you shouldn't be wearing sunglasses you shouldn't be wearing hats because it's, it's disconnecting you from nature and the biggest one is shoes like dog wet <laughs> locker Right, you you locking your bro, feet up. Bro, they locking your feet up and they and they put it right in your face. Right. Come this, on, now they locking your that's your soul, bro. That's, right. That's that's an energy vortex. Right. You feel me? That is that is a, a okay. So basically, we we were talking about melanin. Right. So if you have if if these are your nodes, right? So it is your north node. If your feet are your south node, and they have less melanin, that means that they're absorbing parts of the visual light spectrum that they don't have already. You feel me? So if they're lightly pigmented, less brown, then you should be connected to something that is more brown right. to be connected to to what is more of yourself. Exactly. You, you see me? how we're brown? If you look at the soil, it's brown. If you look at the bark of a tree, it's brown. My skin look like bark. We're brown. You know what I'm saying? We're melanated. It's all melanin. Green, melanin. Uh, red, melanin. It's all melanin. We're all different forms. And frequencies of melanin. Some are people are just more melanated than others, right? right? And when you wear shoes, you're all right. So we're electrical beings, right? So why would you insulate yourself? The biggest insulator is rubber. When you know you've seen the movies where there's water everywhere and there's electricity. People have rubber boots on so they so they won't get electrocuted. We're 
electrical beings and you put on shoes, you insulating yourself. That's why you go home, take off your shoes when you get off from work. It just be hurting. It be hurt. I I know I come from where you come from. It hurts. Like it, it, when you ground yourself on the ground and put your feet on the dirt and get in tune with the planet, it actually cleanses your body. Yeah. It actually cleanses your body, your and, blood. And you know it's bananas. Um, yeah, the blood and and uh, it, it there's free electrons flowing. There's telluric energy in the earth, and that's why when we talk about being uh, the the earth being brown and the dirt, like stepping on the dirt, stepping on the grass, right? It's different frequencies of basically which is you. The sun creates the earth, and the earth you come from the earth. So. What also what I was thinking about is different parts of your foot. If you if you look at it uh, technologically, um, there's a there's a there's a picture on Google. If you look it up, just say a uh, uh, foot. Just type in like foot and like symbols uh, different parts of the body, and you'll see that uh, different parts of the bottom of your foot, those that that sole, um, the node of your foot, it's it's. Uh, you know, like if you look at if you look at by where you're uh, like, let me see your foot. Boop. Like right, like right here, like the bottom, like right here will be like your liver, and this will be like uh, oh yeah, your yeah. eyeballs, and then like your toe will be like your nose or something you, like that. You know, the actual the real word for that is called reflexology. Mm. If you look into reflexology, all the parts of the all, like work. All right, so. Your whole body inside is connected. Everything is connected. So, of course, your feet is connected to different parts of the body. And that's why you have foot cramps and shit like that. You can heal them through grounding. You can heal them through massage and all that because different parts of your body are connected to other parts of your body. Just like your hair is connected to your nervous system, your feet is connected to organs in your body. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, man. That, I mean, that when I figured that out, is bananas because and it's and it's funny that we talk about feet right now because um we've been like i've been i've been dealing with a huge with a huge foot you know whole ordeal that i'm going through and i realize that i'm i'm just a soul so whatever i'm getting uh whatever i'm thinking is gonna affect what i'm getting in my reality and there's a lot of rocks out here it's the tropics you feel me it's a lot of grass but it's a lot it's a lot of different um it's a lot of different types of uh, terrain out right. here. So if you gotta treat your feet right, man. Like, right. Like this, this ground is good for uh, if you've been in shoes. Like if you've been in shoes all day, and and you're you've been in socks, and your feet are just right. Your feet are just insulated. Walk outside and tell me how it feel, and mm -hmm. put your feet on the ground. See how it feel after a long day of putting being a battery. <laughs> Facts. You should quit, but after that long day of being a battery. Go outside, walk on the earth. Facts, and facts. your feet connects to different parts of your organs and every there's no external world, everything is within. Land, different continents or organs. So if you put if you connect your feet to a organ, right, which is the land, which is yourself, that that's that's a that's another part of healing is you're connecting to yourself. Literally, a land or di are different parts of the organ mm. of the body, which is the mind. Mm. So yeah, That's take fact. shoes off. You got to take your shoes off. Take the rubber off your feet so you That's can fact. get in tune. It heals you. Just 40 minutes. Just after after you get off work, right? Mm -hmm. Take off your shoes, take off your socks. Go walk around for 40 minutes and your blood will start cleaning itself and it won't be uh, clogged up in clumps. And you know, you can get blood clots. It can, grounding can heal that. Your, your blood will be more dispersed right. and diffused throughout your body and right. it create promotes healing it promotes healing of your body connecting to yourself don't put shoes on right one thing one thing you should know about about your body is that you are an electrical being every atom uh every cell in your body has a proton and electron so it's basically like a a, a charge there's an electric charge going through you at all times right throughout, throughout your whole body your whole being because you think about yourself you're made out of atoms so it's just a bunch of different it's a bunch of batteries like you're you're a battery right you feel me so made up out of battery your battery made up out of batteries hey so it's like uh there's there's free electrons flowing through the earth through telaric energy if you just if i was to lay on the ground right now for a few hours 
my blood would just my blood would start shifting and start to flow correctly yeah and it'll spread out it'll spread out evenly right throughout the body it won't it won't just be like uh, a clot it won't be a constant clot right that's why that's why people that swell up people that have diabetes right people that have a uh, high blood pressure and they start to swell up in different places it's because they're they have an imbalance of, that the that babylon creates is a concrete jungle you feel me Right. I don't. I we we don't. You see, we don't. Boom. Fuck with that. I'm gonna tell you experience I got. Right when I came, when I came to the tropics, when I got uh in between the tropics of Cancer and Capricorn, I was eating like before I came to the tropics for my whole life. I was eating poison until I figured out it was poison, then I stopped. So I had a lot of toxins in my body. Right. So once I started grounding like I am now, the toxins just started. I was, and eating organically. Eat. I'll, we'll touch on that too. But so the toxins out. just started coming out, and it started going to my feet. My both of my feet got swollen, like like on some sprained ankle, swollen type stuff, and it hurt. Right. And the more I grounded, the more it released. Like the more it went down. Like all the toxins went to my feet. They were so. It was so bad. And we. I had to like massage them, a whole bunch of stuff. But it healed me like i don't have any more toxins in my body now it came out through my feet through grounding facts and and it's funny the bugs the bugs on uh they like to clean your skin you feel me like right now they're cleaning my skin like they're literally cleaning me like they'll they'll walk around you you feel me if you let them just that's crawl on you they'll just walk and they'll just eat like dead skin and shit or like Yo. something that's dead you feel me? If you let him chill, like I will probably wipe him off in a second, but they'll they'll chill. Like, Dang, he got mad little ants on him cleaning his foot right now. Mad, like yeah. Nature, nature be nature be messing with me. Like I I had to think about that. Like everything is symbolic. So if something is coming on me, if something is like um no homo, uh, <laughs> if if something bites me or or something stings me, it's it's putting uh something into my body for my immune system. If it naturally happens, right? It's like symbolic. It's karmic. It, it's supposed to be happening you feel me so it's like it when I think about also your 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 nails your fingernails and your toenails they're we call them the windows to the soul because basically they're they're what is uh it's just like your hair they they don't they probably have different types of pores right that swell up but they're basically collectors they're basically uh um collecting dirt like if you see your fingernails and they're dirty mm -hmm. it's basically getting that dirt under and into your fingernails and it's uh it's sucking that up it's building your immune system oh, from around <laughs> it's building your immune system from your environment when dirt nice. gets under your nails and stuff like that and your toenails and dirt gets on your skin it's just building your immune system it's getting you in tune with your environment that's around you so when you cut your nails when you when you scrub the when you scrub the uh cut the sebum off your skin and all that you you're you're block you're insulating yourself you're being a cancer cell within your own body literally you got to really understand the technologies of your own body because if you don't, you'll be in a detriment to your own self. Man. You gotta stop, one, stop taking, another thing, stop, now that we uh, got through the feet, right, and start grounding, we touched on the hair, don't cut your hair, we explained that, your skin, right, right goes, I'm about to go in about skin again, don't even take showers like that, don't, uh. don't take showers like that, because if you take showers and you start scrubbing the sebum off, off your skin, once you get in, Outside in nature and this and the sun tries to go through the process to create vitamin well the hormone D human photosynthesis right it's you're blocking the first step of human photosynthesis you you won't allow your skin to absorb that what you need and turn it into what you need so you can grow you're you're insulating it and then the soap right is chemicals okay. that sebum that sebum is actually like a it's a it's a protectant it's like right. a, it's like if you were to uh, to to if you had like something like like a plastic uh and it's and it has a hole in it and you have that spray to, to seal it up it's like that it's like a natural version right of that and it's it's basically damn i'm about to be like squirrel, squirrel. oh me yeah squirrel no nah, but <laughs> i like melanated squirrels like seeing them black like that you don't Yo, see them like that that's you don't crazy. see them like that nowhere 
You feel me? That's that's what's showing us right there. That, that, that Yo, melanin pure wave. black squirrel. You don't see them, do you? Facts. Nah, I ain't never seen one. But yeah, though, like, uh, you gotta stop. I mean, <laughs> you gotta stop scrubbing the sebum off your skin. You gotta stop taking showers. And another thing re in regarding to showers, other than the soap, is the water. The water isn't water. It's that's one thing, right? It's not water. It's it's filtered narcotics and chlorine, and it's purified it's not purified and when it hits your skin your skin like we said before right people like taking hot showers right so as we explained in the uh earlier right at a certain temperature your your the hair root plexus and, and the pores open up so you absorb all that shit right. you you absorb that and think about what it think think about this what is chlorine it's bleach Right, so basically, you look at what bleach does, it strips colors away. It strips it, melanin. It, 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 it modulates the chemicals to be lighter. You feel me? So if you think about your melanin, if you're taking chlorine, if you're taking, if you're taking a chem, if you're taking a gas chamber uh, a shower, then you're basically stripping your body of the sebum first, which is the first layer of that protectant. And then once that's not protected anymore, it can go in straight for the melanin. Right. You feel me? And it's gonna destroy that. It's gonna destroy that melanin. You feel me? It, not destroy it, but it's gonna mm. it's gonna inhibit you from being able to it, like you're gonna be soaked in it. You feel me? Once you dry off from that shower, that chlorine is still on you. That's why and you get ashy. You, yeah, and when you step out into the sun, yeah, and you gotta use lotion. Right. You gotta use different chemicals, but when you step out into the sun. It's like blocking. It is blocking the the connection from the sun straight to your melanin. It has to go through all these different different modulated uh, um, uh, mutations of, of chemicals just to just to uh, just to connect. You feel me? Just to connect with the melanin. Right. Melanin is like an antenna. It wants to it wants to be in it wants to be an in instant communication. So once you start once you start. Uh, 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 once you once you insulate that, it's like it's is dysfunction. Right. It creates dysfunction. You Disharmony. Feel you feel me? You're not gonna be in you're tune. You're not gonna be in tune with your body. You're gonna you're gonna do things that are that are harmful to yourself. You feel me? And if you don't realize what you are by now, then you know, you're you're pretty much left behind anyways. But man, that 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 you touched on a really good point. You feel me? That that's that's big. Right. That's really big to think about your skin. Like, stop taking showers, bro. Right. Like, if you hear if you hear from him, you gonna hear from me. Like, you should not be taking showers. No. And if you and if you have a natural spring, right, or, or somewhere we can uh, get a get a fresh source of water that hasn't been contaminated, right, then you should be using that. Not even daily, like. You should you should be getting most of your water from from your diet from your what you're consuming facts you feel me but if you do happen to to you know every every three or four days you right feel me? you should be you should be at just, the sink uh, if you're still in Babylon at the sink and you don't have cuz alright so everything life is sex and sex is a sacred energy exchange right so when you take showers you're having sex with that disgusting ass water so you want to limit that you want to use as less as possible you know what i'm saying so you'll take if you if you're still in babylon and you want to take uh if you want to wash up yourself do it every three or four days at the sink don't right. and, and and use natural off. soap right and use uh what is it called black african soap that's one that you can use black, dr bronner's right uh it's all natural um and you should be just like you could. You don't even have to use a towel. You just wipe it on and then rinse off. You can you go out. You actually, you can actually just take off your shirt, right? Take off your shoes after you get done washing up. Go outside. <laughs> That's yeah, you go you straight do. outside. You right. don't even gotta dry. You right. don't even gotta dry. If you're in a nice, if you got nice sun, you can just like shake off, bro. Right. And you straight. You know we shower in mountain water, and when it rains, we go outside. We go outside, and and nature right. rinses us off. Right. Naturally, organically, like. The the, uh, the the plumbing system is disgusting. It is disgusting. You poop in the toilet, right? And then it gets sent to the septic, like the sewers. You feel me? And then that's in the sewer system.